Welcome back to another book review. Today we're looking at a catalog from Ruger. Uh, they were also known as Sturm and Ruger Company. But uh, for our usage today, we'll just refer to them as Ruger in short. If we look on the cover here, we would see some sample photography, Ruger, and this is their 2010 catalog, Rugged Reliable Firearms. You can also see here the legacy logo uh, combining the Sturm and Ruger elements with the R and the uh, colorful logo there. And we also have Ruger Pride, our flag, and my guns are made in America. Uh, square binding, but nothing printed on the edge. If we look on the back cover, we can see a combined uh, logo there, Ruger arms makers for responsible citizens uh, some dress info again this is from 2010 so looking at the information also at the bottom uh, feel free to research current contact info and product offerings from Ruger and uh, another quick look at some more sample photography on the back cover if we go ahead and look on the inside, we can see a statement from the president and CEO at the time in 2010, as well as a little bit of introductory statements on new product offerings. And you can see a listing of some game there. And uh, there's going to be sample photography all throughout. Here's our table of contents. Um, do a quick read off. SR556, I'm not going to read everything. SR22, LCR, LCP, SR9, Red Label, M77, Hawkeye Mark IIs, Magnum, Bolt Action, Rotary Magazine, Bolt Action, Number 1, Mini 14 and Mini 30, 1022, 22 Charger, Mark III, Rimfire. 2245, P Series, SP 101, GP 100, Red Hawk, Super Red Hawk, Vaquero, New Model Black Hawk, New Model Super Black Hawk, New Model Single 6, New Bearcat, and Scope Rings, Magazines and Loaders, Important Safety Information and Legal Statement. And this is uh, probably printed prior to the beginning of 2010. And, uh, of course, all statements regarding specifications and prices were subject to change. So, we're going to try not to rush through, but there is a lot to cover. So, here we have the SR556. Uh, I believe it was announced in 2009, but here we can see new in 2010. And you can see some of the features on this, this being advertised as chrome-plated two-stage piston-driven operating system. So this differs from the uh, legacy uh, gas redirect to bolt uh, gas key uh, type of design. Again, this being a two-stage piston design. But you can see some of the features there. That kind of set this apart from other uh, commercially available uh, AR platforms. Continuing, here we can see the SR22. And this uh, advertising all aluminum chassis that is custom manufactured to Ruger specs by Nordic Components. And then they also offer other uh, customizable accessories for this platform as well. Here we have the LCR, and this having the interchangeable grips. You see some of the features there. Bring it closer. Here's the LCP. So a lot of these uh, categories actually came from around this time frame. May have to start to see uh, reappearing on the resale market, etc., and also as uh, evolved designs as well. Here we have SR9. Again, 
This is all from 2010. Here we have variations on the SR9. And then you can see some data tables. Red label, shotguns. Variations and data tables. The M77 Hawkeye rifles. Also with a separate breakout here. You can see here a lefty model. And quite a few options and uh, listings in the data tables as well. Continuing with more variations and the associated data tables. Continuing. And you see how they stress the new. Uh, row items and you can see that the M77 does have quite a few variations as well so then they have the Mark II target versions of the M77 so you can see how they have a different feature set then they progress to the Magnum bolt action Rotary Magazine and the uh, breakout sets the 17, the 22, and the 44 for the associated calibers. Then again to the number one, so you here see a different type of action on this. This being single shot. And variations from Sporter, Standard, Varminter, data tables, and then continuing onward, upwards, with also variations in the configurations as well as you can see, particularly obviously that bottom one there with the international with the full full-length forearm. Different designs here, the Mini 14 and Mini 30. Made popular in various uh, entertainment media. A team coming to mind. Variations. Interesting stock there. Some of these might be more familiar. You see how it's modeled after the M14 style, but uh, scaled and with some internal differences, but uh, very similar in appearance. Here we have the 1022 rifle, kind of reminiscent of the M1 carbine. Variations, and uh, there are also a lot of uh, aftermarket products for the 1022 platform as well. Here we have the 22 Charger, so similar operating system, but uh, much different configuration for different applications. We have the Mark III. says an involved design so obviously previously there would be would have been the mark 2 and mark 1 and uh, internally there have been some changes to help with uh, uh, maintenance disassembly etc 
Here we have the 2245, so slight variation on the design there, and then remodeled. Variations. Now we get into the P series. So these being uh, different style of auto loaders. So we got the P345, P90, P944, and P95 on these pages. Feel free to again feel free to research current product offerings from Ruger, this being from 2010. Here we have the SP101. Quite a few variations in 327, 38 special, up to plus P, 357 Magnum, and also one with a spurless hammer. Here we have the GP100. So you can see a little bit of style differences here. As well as the options. This uh, is the Red Hawk. And this has evolved over the years as well. And then the Super Red Hawk. Carol, getting into the single action look, size, and feel. So, different manual of arms operation. You see the variations there. New, the SASS. Specifically modeled for the Single Action Shooter Society. You can see their logo is right in the grips there as opposed to the normal uh, Sturm Ruger logo. Here we have new model Blackhawk revolvers. So this has definitely evolved quite a bit over the years. Subsequent variations. And a lot of options. This is new model Super Blackhawk. Let me see the variations on this one. And the option set. New model single six. So you can see how they've set this one up. Again from 2010. And they also stress throughout the catalog the prices and specifications are subject to change, of course. New Bearcat revolvers. Still have that traditional look though. And you can see they have some engraving work on these models as well. And so one quick flip back. I also noticed that there uh, they'll always have that free safety offer to get you uh, manuals. Uh, in hand if you are missing them. Here we have the information on their scope rings from 1 inch 30 millimeter and we also got offsets and then the data tables continue so you can see item listings across the top there. Some contact info in their service department as well. Ruger magazines and loaders so you can see of the item sets there for both pistol and rifle. 
and then we start to close here on the back cover page 97 they numbered it Ruger important safety information here we have a recall notice another recall notice important obviously and again the important free safety offer so we'll notice this has to do specifically with Old model pre-1973 Ruger Single Six Blackhawk Super Blackhawk or Bearcat Single Action Revolver. And if you have them, you can see how they've identified an issue with the three frame screws there uh, to help identify. And there's a patented Ruger conversion kit that they're offering there. So, I guess to prevent hammer strike. Contact info at the time. We also have Ruger legal statements. So, quite a bit to go through there. Again, this is a 2010 catalog from Ruger, Rugged Reliable Firearms. Feel free to research current product offerings from Ruger. This has been another book review. Feel free to check out other book review media reviews on the channel. We also do unboxing videos as well as show and tell videos on vintage mill surf tools and expanded topics. And we also do a series called Curios for the Curious. Videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe and thanks for watching. See you next time.